All right, so we have a little dilemma. What's that? We're going to be doing an unboxing video, but we can't get it out of the truck without unboxing it. So everything's in Russian. It came in this this really cool steel frame, which I'm going to repurpose to do something, I'm sure. And uh, so it came wired down. And this is the uh, Snow Dog Compact, the seven horsepower one, which they're discontinuing. So this was a thousand bucks off. And uh, it's pretty freaking sweet already. And we haven't even tested it yet. So we're just cutting the wiring Need off, the... getting it off the thing. And then we're going to slide it down here into the my garage. This thing looks sweet. Game changer for ice fishing, boys. Game changer. Sweet All right, what's happened everybody? You've already seen the unboxing of the snow dog. So let's kind of go over rundown. We haven't set it up yet. So I'm gonna basically take the cowling off the outside of it uh, and check all the fluids. So oil, uh, gear, oil, and gas, and make sure all the valves are turned on and install the battery. And I think that's gonna be easier to do with the whole shroud off. And I kind of want to see how, the, how it works in there besides in the middle of winter when something kind of goes bad. So let me kind of, walk you let me kind of walk you around the vehicle real quick so we got the key in we got electric start we well, electric start here which is really cool we got lights we got brakes throttle parking brake we got the little pencil hook here or not pencil hook kind of a latch hook we got back storage here which is kind of cool this is where all the manuals are and like i said the uh the snow, this is the 7.5, the compact snow dog, which is really cool. It's got bogey wheels. It's really sweet. That's a really cool front headlight. And then it's got not really a storage area up here, but this is where everything kind of runs to. And then the clutch or the CVT system. And, and that's basically it. So I haven't, haven't run it yet or started it. It's been in my garage for literally two months and I've been drooling over it. And I've been just too busy. I bought the house at the same kind of time I was buying this. Um, so I haven't had time to work on it yet. So let's get it all unbuttoned and kind of take you for more for a tour. One more screw. As always, always, always. One more screw. I think that's it. I mean, we're not going to take it fully off because I would have to disconnect the light. So let's take another tour of what's inside these bad boys. So we got disc brakes inside. We have Colin in Grad Motor Factory. I don't even know where that is. Uh, max permissible mass towed. It's 330 pounds. Unladen mass is 230 pounds. So this is actually really super lightweight. It's got a Briggs and Stratton motor on it. And it looks like it's got oil there, oil there. Make sure thing everything's wired properly. There's no screws loose. Because like I said, this you already saw this was shipped in like a big kind of um, steel crate. Actually, this steel crate that I've been using as a bench. And it says warning, read engine. Uh, engine may be shipped without oil, so we want to check all that stuff. We're going to rip that off. And then we got this run engine start switch over here, which, you know, would have been in the off position along with choke and everything like that. So we got 208cc um, Banjo Professional, probably an air filter in there. Uh, don't run E85. 
Nothing in there. It was shipped with oil, which is which is fantastic. I thought there might be some sort of gear case in here, but it's not. It's just the CVT. Basically a snowmobile clutch, but downsized a lot. They actually gave you a battery with it, so it's an XI AMG ready 8.6 amp hour, 145 amp. So I've been trickle charging this for the last basically month or so and just on like a little 750 milliamp charger. That goes right here. I got a zip tie I got to cut off. It doesn't belong there, I don't think. And we have to take probably a 10 millimeter and lift that bracket up. So, all right, then we're gonna install the positive and negative terminals, triple check that first. And we're gonna start with the ground first. And just to give you guys a close up, and it's just connecting the positive, positive, negative, negative, red to red, black to black. And now we're gonna put some gas in it. So normally I would prefer to put non-ethanol in it, um, but it's hard to find non-ethanol here in New Hampshire. I have to go to like a marina or something like that, and I haven't done that yet. So I'm running ethanol, which I might regret later, but it's a small engine. It's easy to repair if there's any issues with ethanol. Figured out the gas cap. I'm not gonna put a lot of gas in there. And I am gonna open my garage so I don't die of carbon monoxide poisoning. And I'm also gonna have the parking brake on as well. So keys on. Uh, fuel is on. Choke. Choke is on. Fuel is on. That's on. And I'm actually going to pull start. I'm actually going to pull start this first. So I don't kill a bunch of the battery trying to basically start it. Uh, and then I'm also going to, once I get everything started and everything running, I'm going to actually take the battery terminals back off and put kind of a quick char charge disconnect on there uh, for one of those 750 milliamp drivers. So no, I'll leave the link, link to that charger below. I use it all the time. It's really great. Um, it's that one, the battery tender junior over there that I use all the time. So let me open the garage up. For a few folks here. Make sure your run switch is on. super lightweight. I'm actually going to put it on a scale at one point and let you guys get, give you an actual weight. Uh, the other thing, super portable, chest storage space. Your goal is to stand in like a little sled or a little buggy. And then two, it's air cooled. So you don't have to worry about snow and ice or hot weather really. I mean, it's better if you're running it, but um, I'll let it warm up and let it get going a little bit and then I'll check the oil again. I think that's enough. Let's see if it'll let you start. So that kills it. Let's, uh, break is on, electric start. That is cool. Right there. Womp, womp, womp. And she's off. All right. Let's shut it off. Let's put the cover back on. There's enough airflow in here. You guys, the windows are open. You don't see that, but. All right, all done. And. Zip that up, kind of aim the headlight up. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go stupidly kind of like, 
take it out my road and back in the dark. I'm not gonna take you guys along for that. I'm gonna try it out, kind of walk behind it, see if I can like get it to go slow, and then I'll bring it back. thing is sweet. Let me tell you. Headlight off. So I am gonna have a review video of this coming out when I either make a little sled for it, like a little chariot kind of thing, or after like probably one month on the ice. And you'll see it on lots of my ice fishing videos this winter. I am super excited about it. Now this, this is about $17.99 plus $2.50 in shipping, whatever that equals out to. That's what this one costs, is $1,000 off. So they make this one, which is the slowest, lowest, cheapest version. They make a 10 horsepower or 10 and a half, and they make a 13 and a half with a big track and reverse and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then they make another one that's even bigger than that. That's crazy, they can tow like 660 pounds. And that, that 330 pounds I talked about before, that's on like dry gravel, that's it. So on ice, you can even tell more than that. So ice and snow. So that's it. Make sure you guys subscribe. All the links for the stuff that I used for this, like the battery charger and stuff, I'll leave below. The link for Snow Dog will leave below, not sponsored by them. It is super cool. Make sure you guys check them out.